Hi, I am Serge Jardy. Welcome to the first episode of Mathematics in Everyday Life, a lesson that counts. Watch and learn with me and be math terrific. For this episode, we will talk about the measures of central tendency. A measure of central tendency is a single number that we can use to describe a set of data. There are three common measures of central tendency, the mean, median, and mode. In this episode, we will only focus on finding the mean, median, and mode of ungrouped data. What does it mean by the term ungrouped data? Ungrouped data are the raw data being collected, meaning these are not yet grouped into categories. Now, let's talk about how to find the mean of a data set. The mean is the commonly used measure of sensual tendency. In simple term, we call it average. How to calculate the mean? The mean of the data set is denoted by the symbol x bar and the formula is x bar is equal to summation of x divided by n who are in summation of x is the sum of all the numbers in a data set and n is the total number of data you have added for example suppose we have the following data 12 17 19 10 and 20 to find the mean we will use the formula x bar is equal to the summation of x divided by n. The first step is to add the given numbers. So we write x bar is equal to 12 plus 17 plus 19 plus 10 plus 20. Since we have 5 numbers to be added, the value of n is equal to 5. Let us continue the process. By adding the numbers, we get 78 divided by 5. Let's get the quotient to find the value of the mean. 78 divided by 5 is equal to 15.6. 15.6 is the mean of the given set of data. The other measure of central tendency is the median. It is usually denoted by these two letters, M, D. The median is the number found exactly in the middle of the data set when the data are arranged in either ascending or descending order. For example, let us consider the following numbers, 12, 17, 19, 10, and then 20. The first step in finding the mission is to arrange the given set of numbers in either ascending or descending order. When we say ascending order, from least to greatest. When we say descending order, from greatest to least. Let us arrange the numbers in ascending order. So it will be 10, 12, 17, 19, and 20. The next step is to locate the number found exactly in the middle, and that is 17. 17 is the median. What if we arrange the numbers in descending order? Again, we have the numbers 12, 17, 19, 10, and then 20. Arranging it in descending order, we will have 20, 19, 17, 12, and 10. The number found exactly in the middle is still 17. How about if we have even numbered set of data? What shall we do? For example, we have the following numbers. 12, 17, 19, 10, 20, and 11. We have 6 numbers. Let's arrange it in ascending order. So we will have 
10, 11, 12, 17, 19, and 20. As you can see, there are two numbers found exactly in the middle. We have 12 and 17. In this case, we need to get the average of the two numbers. So we will add 12 and 17, then divide it by 2. 12 plus 17 is equal to 29 divided by 2. The quotient of 29 and 2 is equal to 14.5. 14.5 is the median. The third measure of sensual tendency is the mode. It is the simplest measure of sensual tendency. Finding the mode does not require computation. You will just simply look for the number which appears the most number of times in the dataset. For example, let us consider the following numbers. 19, 12, 17, 19, 10, 20, and 11. To find the mode, just look for the number which appears frequently in our set of data. In this example, the mode is 19, since 19 appears twice in the set of data. A mode can be unimodal, bimodal, trimodal, or multimodal. When a set of data has one mode, it is called unimodal. When there are two modes, it is called bimodal. When there are three modes, trimodal. When there are more than three modes, multimodal. Now, let's talk about when is the best time to use the mean, median, or mode. The mean is best to use when we need to consider all of the numbers in a data set. For example, in your academic grades, the mean is the best measure to use to determine which grade will best describe your performance in class. The median is best to use when there is a presence of an outlier. What does it mean by an outlier? Outliers are numbers that are extremely high or extremely low. Using the mean is not a good choice because outliers greatly affect the result. When we have nominal type of data, using the mean and the median will not make sense. For example, you have the data about the favorite color of your classmates. You can easily describe the data set using the mode. And that's the end of our lesson. See you in the next episode of Mathematics in Everyday Life, a lesson that counts. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates and exciting videos.